Hello, ladies and gentlemen, patrons of my channel on YouTube. Welcome to Let's Play Chibi Robo Part 61. Uh, last episode, I rambled about how my friend has a capture card that he will probably never use, and he should just give it to me instead of being a little turd. But I rant too much, and our friendship's probably over by now. But anyway, uh, I just collected 2,000 moolah. So I'm going to try to collect more. I'm trying to collect 4,000 moolah so I can power up that big ass robo and we can e end the game. Because really, I want the battery to be full and I want it to be in our, in our inventory when we open that case because then we can go like that and it will be in our will that we can just end the video, have the final big story moments and then I can be done with this let's play forever because let's face it I gave myself a limit to do this let's play I'm just kinda kicking myself in the ass doing it right now um, so yeah uh, no I would not like to save I I will save in between videos when my fans aren't watching be considerate of my patrons telly I'm sorry for calling you fans I have no fans I have patrons who watch my videos um, and now it's nighttime, and now we're gonna do things like climb in here and pick up paper. What is this even? Is this supposed to be a fireplace? Um, well, it's a, f it's obvious. Well, how obvi it's obviously um, disconnected from the rest of the, uh, the living room floor. So maybe this reminds me of um, a play I went to. Uh, the dramas of both the high schools in the FP district are what, now just this year closely intertwined and this is the year when I joined drama so um though we might be rival high schools the dramas are still like the drama casts like drama clubs are still like hey guys we don't care about no damned rivalry we'll accept your patriotism for your patriots as long as we can be friends and so like we go over to Washington, which is the other high school, and um, uh, we watched their skit, and it was really awesome. And uh, it's called the Velvet Cake Wars, and what, from what I've seen on the internet, it is the best rendition of the Velvet Cake Wars I have ever seen, because the other ones are like all old people, and like they're supposed to be old, and then this one's like, oh, we're teenagers in high school, and I'm like, oh, well, uh, it's kind of confusing, because they're supposed to be old, but that's how drama works, you know, you act, and then you do, and it looks like there is mold on the wall, they should have that checked out, but anyway, um, yeah, it's about this one girl, and she's like, oh, my, the beginning is like this redneck kind of like show, for rednecks and it's it's in texas and they all have texas like y'all they all they all have that and um it's supposed to be like hey um it's supposed to be this one girl and she's like oh my boyfriend sucks so i'm breaking up with him and then um she gets all depressed and she bets um well there's an uncle his name's audrey he's really uh he's really funny and the guy that played him is like a personal friend not really personal, but he's a lovable guy. And Jesse, if you ever watch this, you're amazing. Um, anyway, uh, where was I going with that? Anyway, um, and it's like his birthday, and like his birthday is also the family reunion for some. Well, well, he is supposed to be the oldest member of this large Texas family, and uh, his birthday is a family reunion, and. So they do a family reunion thing, reunion, I cannot talk, and they, um, it's supposed to be like, it's supposed to be cancelled because the main antagonist in the play is Aunt Lamerle, and she is a real bitch, and she's just like, we're not gonna have this fancy thing get along because there's supposed to be a tornado foreshadowing, and anyway, um, uh, uh, is, is, is someone outside? I'm paranoid about this. Someone's not outside, but anyway, the main antagonist 
is just a turd, and she's like, we're going to cancel this because there's going to be a tornado, and that's foreshadowing. But anyway, the main characters are these three three cousins, and uh, the girl that I talked about her boyfriend sucking, and she's like, she's complaining about her boyfriend on this redneck radio or TV show starring this gay guy, which is amazing, and it's hilarious the way it's put together. And anyway, uh, the girl is all... Well, she's, she's like the main, main character. The three are the real main characters, and they're like, um, this one, there's Peaches, which the girl that played her, she's really pretty and really nice. And everyone in drama is awesome, as I've previously mentioned on both my Facebook DeviantArt, probably Steam somewhere, sometime, uh, Tumblr, all of that social media goodness. I have mentioned this, but anyway, um, Peaches, she's like, she's a cadaver, uh, what would you call it? She's a mortician, is she? I'm not sure if she's a mortician, but she does makeup for cadavers, and, uh, I know morticians are supposed to, like, dress them, but I'm not sure about makeup, and I'm like, what is this? And then the, the, uh, the main, main character, uh, Janelle, I think her name is, if I can remember correctly, I wish I videotaped this. Actually, it's on YouTube. I should put a link in the description. Um, but, uh, uh, Janelle, she is kind of like a, uh, I don't want to say drunk, because she is very mad about her boyfriend leaving her and cheating and being a total dick. And she's just like an average southern woman. Uh, a, I don't know. Oh, when she has a, like, her, her crutch when she is, like, depressed and stuff. She drinks whipped cream out of the spray containers. And it's actually a really funny gag. Um, but, and then there's, uh, the other one, which I don't remember her name, which is a shame because her jokes, the jokes involving her are often the funniest. Cause, um, she's like this, uh, like, real redneck, like, she's a cowboy, she, uh, herds cattle and stuff, and, uh, there's a really funny joke about, uh, like, they actually get the family reunion together, and, uh, they all get dressed up and dolled up and all nice, and, uh, I, I'm not sure if it's Little Merle or, uh, or Peaches that is, like, talking, and, uh, no, it's, um, there's an annoying neighbor, and, uh, no, it's not, it's Peaches, and she's like, uh, there's something about, uh, eyebrows, and women should have two, because she has a unibrow, and it's, like, really apparent, because they got this fake unibrow and put, slapped that on her, and it's just really funny, but anyway, the plot, I have explained the three main characters, and the plot is, like, the plot is, so, the family reunion gets cancelled, and the three cousins are like, I want this to come together because this is so awesome, and, uh, you know, this is gonna be a boss. And anyway, um, Janelle, in a, like, Janelle drunken rage, gives, or bets, uh, Lemurl that, uh, her house, that she can make a bed velvet, red velvet cake, um, than her. And Lamerle is like county known for making the most amazing red velvet cake, and that's why it's called the Red Velvet Cake Wars. And it's just all downhill from there, and it's hilarious. But anyway, there's this blanket that's like united the three cousins, and it's uh, like a special like blanket from when they were children. And it's just really hard to explain. I'll get more to that on the next video.